Hello YouTube Pipe Community. Finally getting around to doing an introductory video, something I've been wanting to do for some time. I always seem that there's something else to do though, so I guess the confluence of being prodded and and having the time to do it has finally come together and I'm able to put together a little something. My name is Pat Higgins. Live in central Massachusetts. Obviously a pipe smoker. Um, pipe maker as well. Been making pipes for the last couple of years. Uh, as a hobbyist. Uh, kind of driven by my hobbies. Um, everything from fly fishing, building bamboo fly rods, fly tying, Everything that goes with fly fishing, wine making, photography, no shortage of hobbies. I smoked a pipe years ago and well, along with cigarettes and uh, and probably quit all that some 30 years ago. Since then, though, I've enjoyed enjoyed cigars, occasional smoke here and there, but nothing real serious. It's one of these occasions that really got me back into smoking a pipe. I was sitting watching a uh, I don't know, watching whatever was, was on the tube at uh, the pipe or the cigar shop. Sit back relaxing in their leather chairs and old old gentleman sat down next to me with canvas bag and he started rummaging through that bag, chock full of all kinds of things, everything wrapped up. And he finally pulled out uh, his big church warden pipe packed himself a bowl and we got to talking. He got me thinking about the days when I did enjoy pipe smoking. One of the things about pipe smoking is, it, for me, it's one of the most relaxing things that you can do. When you take, light up a pipe, sit down to smoke it, it's hard not to relax. Um, and that kind of thinking brought me right back into it. Stopped and Stopped a few weeks later and picked up a tin of tobacco. I think it was some Petersons or something like that. Um, couldn't have been that good. Don't smoke it anymore. So, But when I stopped years ago, I had a favorite pipe. And I put that pipe into a sock and it went to the back of one of my drawers and sat there for years. And I pulled it out and was ready to go. Forgotten how bad a shape it was in. The bit was, uh, had a whole bit through it and ended up sending it back to get a new bit put in. At any rate, that pipe is, is the one I'm smoking right now. It's a Mark Densky uh, blasted bulldog. Um, dated 1984. So. It's been around a while, still smokes great. But at any rate, that, that discussion kind of led me back into pipe smoking and and then not surprisingly pretty quickly into making my own pipes. Never look back as they say. Still enjoyed as much as I remembered enjoying it, and uh, um, I also like the relaxing piece of it because you just can't smoke them all the time. At least I can't just smoke a pipe all the time. I got to make the time for it, sit down, and and relax and smoke my pipe, and and that's been one of the biggest pluses for me. So at any rate, finally making this video uh, as much. Due to some prodding, 
as anything else. Um, most recently, uh, Derek from Pipe Leisure uh, mentioned me in one of his videos and showed a pipe that I gifted him. So, Derek, thank you very much. Uh, uh, it was, I guess, the incentive that put me over the edge and has got me doing this. In addition to that, a few months back I had sent a pipe to Alex Breyer, Boston Briars, and uh, looking for feedback just uh, just on my own pipe making and how I could improve it and and just gather his thoughts and stuff. So after he received it and smoked it for a bit, he, he did a video uh, of my pipe as well and gave me uh, gave me a nice little intro. So so Alex, thank you if you're listening. Tonight I'm smoking something that's new to me. Where is it? Okay. This Freiburg and Trayer. It says it's a cut Virginia plug. It's actually pretty nice. It's uh, it's more citrusy than uh, mo I mean, all Virginias have a little bit of citrus, or at least some of them are. are uh, you can pick it out, but on this, it's more prominent than most that I've smoked. Kind of nice and refreshing. Um, it was out at, at smokingpipes.com and they have a top 100 list. And I found it on that list, so I thought I'd give it a try. Glad I did. It's kind of nice. I'm, I'm looking forward to looking forward to smoking it on one of these coming up hot summer days. Maybe pair it with like a shock top or something like that. It says it's a cut Virginia plug. I guess it was a plug at some point. But when they deliver it, comes like, you know, your Virginia flakes, nice large uh, sliced flakes, crumble up easy. Moisture-wise, it is, it is pretty good right out of the tin, so. So I'm enjoying that. So, like I said, I'm a hobbyist pipe maker, uh, not trying to pay my bills with it. Learned a long time ago that when you have a hobby and you, you try to make a business out of it where you're looking for profit, for me the fun tends to go away. So, stay away from that. I do it out of enjoyment. Met a number of people from the YouTube pipe community recently, hoping to meet a lot more. Uh, plan on being at the Chicago Pipe Show. Here what is it, the end of April, something like that. End of April, first of first of May. So maybe I'll run into a few more of you and meet a few more of you out there. At any rate, I've been following a number of you for for quite some time. I think I think like a lot of people, um, not a lot of sm pipe smokers are on right now. So. This is kind of the virtual way to enjoy a, a smoke with other people of like mind. I was here in my shop. I'm not the, I'm not the most organized of people, as you can probably see. Um, but it works for me. At any rate, I guess that's all I have this evening. I um, wanted to pop in and actually get this intro over with. Um, hope to be back watching a number of other videos and, and joining in myself. So. so with that, I say thank you for watching, um, and maybe we can meet up one day. Thank you.